there, welcome to the robot program. I'm Professor E. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to animate JD's RGB eyes. There are actually multiple ways that you can use the RGB LED for your Easy Robot products. The first is the array that is in JD's eyes. So he has nine different LEDs in each of his eyes. You can also use the RGB LED block that again has the same 18 RGB LEDs and you can use easy bits to clip this on to any of your other projects. For do-it-yourself applications, there's even an RGB LED PCB. All of these connect using the I2C ports on your Easy BV4. In this demo, I'm going to use Revolution JD and animate different patterns and colors into the array that is on his eyes. So first we're going to load our Easy Builder software. And we want to load the bare project for our robot. So going into the bookmarks menu, we can say example projects. And since we're working with JD, we're going to click on the JD bare project, open. And if you need a servo profile for your JD, go ahead and load that now. All right, so now I'm going to lay JD down. Powered on. And connect to my Wi-Fi signal, my EZB V4. And then I'm going to go ahead and click our blue connect button, making sure we have lots of room around our JD. All right, now, since we're working with JD, we can have him stand from sit to get ready for our episode. So from the auto position menu, I'm going to click stand from sit and execute. To program the array, we first have to go in and click Add Controls, I2C, that's the port where the eyes are plugged into, and we're going to click on RGB Animator. All right, so now we've got our new control added to the project, and as always, we're going to click the gear button to access the configuration settings. We want to create a new action. This is going to be our entire sequence of different patterns and frames. So click New Action, let's give it a name. I'm going to call this the Robot Program. Okay. Each time we want JD's eyes to change for a new pattern or a new color or a new sequence, we have to have a frame for each of those patterns. So I'm going to click Add New Frame. And now whatever I select here will be saved as this frame. Each set of squares represents one of JD's eyes, and there's nine squares that I can change for each of those eyes. Now, they don't have to be the same color. They can be independent, they can be symmetrical, whatever you want when you're creating your robot's pattern. To change the color of one of the RGB LEDs, we're going to select it. So now it's got a little symbol on it, and every LED that I select is now going to be changed when I move the sliders. I'm going to mix values of red, green, and blue to change the different colors. So let's go all the way up to red. And let's mix in a little bit of blue, just a touch. All right, so we have pink X's. I like it. Okay, and if I want to save this frame, all I have to do is add a new frame. Before I do that, let's take a look at the transition and pause values. The pause value indicates how long we're going to stay on that particular frame. So right now it's at a thousand milliseconds, so one second. Let's have the pink axis stay for two seconds. So I can just click and slide to change that value. And here I've selected transition, and this is the transition value for entering this frame. So how long it's going to take to flash into pink axis. Right now it's one millisecond. I'm going to turn it all the way up to five milliseconds, so five seconds. That means I'm slowly going to fade into my pink X's over five seconds. All right, let's go to our next frame. So I'm going to click Add New Frame, and it unselected all of my RGB LEDs, which is great. If I decide that I don't want to click on some of these LEDs, so here I've got a pink H. Let's say I changed my mind. 
I can either click off of one of the squares, so it's no longer deselected, or I can scroll over here and click on the unselect button. That's going to unselect all of the LEDs that I had chosen. But I want to change the color of this H, so I'm going to reselect all of my H squares here. And right now it's still set to the same pink value that I had before. I don't want it to be the same color. I think I'm going to make it purple. I'm going to turn my blue all the way up. I'm mixing colors. There. Let's put in a little bit of green maybe. Make it a bit, no, that makes it brighter. I want it a bit darker. So why don't we actually turn down the red a little. Well, there we go. Turn down the blue. I'm going to turn down the red one more time. So now I've got a slightly darker purple H. All right, I like that. Now I'm going to pause on the H's for just one millisecond. And again, I want to transition over five milliseconds. I like a nice slow transition. Nice fade in. All right, next frame. Now, like I said before, you don't have to have your frames be symmetrical. So I'm actually going to make these frames opposite from each other. So I'm going to click on my first one here. So I'll go all the way over to red. All right, so now I'm going to unselect those. Now I'm going to choose orange. So I'm just going to mix in a little green. That looks good. Unselect. Now yellow. There we go. So you can see I'm going opposite in my pattern. Unselect. Okay, let's go green now. So I turn my red down. Good. Unselect. Next one, let's do a slight blue-green shade of green. So just mix in a little bit of blue, a little more. Okay, unselect. Now let's turn the blue up even more. There we go, should I take some green out? Nope, I like that bright turquoise. All right, now we're gonna go dark blue. So take out my green. Perfect. Now, purple. I mix in a little red. It's kind of a bluey purple. And last but not least, we're going to put in our pink purple again. Turn my red all the way up. There we go. All right, now I have a rainbow array. And for this one, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I want to pause on the rainbow for a long time because I'm impressed with the color pattern. I think it looks really good. So I'm going to turn that up. Let's pause on that one for three seconds. And I'm going to unselect transition. I can also turn my transition value all the way down to zero. Either one means that we're going to flash directly to the rainbow frame. So we're not going to have a slow fade in. We're just going to flash directly to that pattern. And it's going to stay on for three seconds. All right, I'm just going to do three frames. But you can keep adding frames as much as you want. You can even duplicate frames if I want to have the rainbow come back again. Instead of clicking on the LEDs again, I can just duplicate the frame. And we can choose to have our actions repeat as well. So you can click this box and it will keep repeating until we tell it otherwise. Remember that if you're not sure about anything, hover over the blue question marks to get more information. So I'm going to save this action. Remember we've called it the robot program. And back in our control, we can see it here. I'm going to click on it and we're going to execute to test it out. All right, ready JD? Execute. All right, so we finished out our rainbow grid. And again, if I wanted to repeat that pattern, I could select that checkbox. And we can see in our black terminal box here that it says done, which tells us that we've executed the entire action that we programmed. All right, so now let's figure out how we actually want to use our new RGB LED pattern within the context of another program. I'm going to move my control over here. I think for our program, we're going to have JD wait for a face. And when he detects a face, He's going to play the pattern that we just programmed. So it's going to be his special way of greeting us. It's like when you see someone across the room and you wink at them. Instead of winking, he's going to flash the patterns at us. So first I have to add my camera control. So project, add controls, camera, camera device. OK. And in here, I'm going to click Start. There we go. You can see Andreas. Say hi, Andreas. Perfect. All right, I'm going to turn him to face me now. I love those rainbow eyes, JD. 
All right, and now we're gonna go down to our gear icon. And we're gonna click on scripts. So execute these tracking scripts when object tracking begins or ends. So we want, when our tracking starts, when we detect a face, we're going to add a script that plays our RGB LED animation. So I'm gonna click on the pencil. And I've entered my Blockly workspace. So under camera, I'm going to add wait for face. And now I need to add the line of code that's going to trigger our animation. Under utility, I'm gonna click on control command. And I'm gonna click on my drop down menu. And we can see here, there's an option that says RGB animator, auto position action, the robot program. That is the program that we created in our animator. So I'm gonna click on that. And so now it's going to execute that entire sequence when it detects a face. Now, if you decided to have an animation that goes for a while and keeps repeating, a way to stop it would be to go utility, control command, and here we can say RGB animator auto position stop. And that's going to stop your animation sequence. But we didn't have ours repeat. So I'm going to take that off, delete it. All right, let's save our script and save again. So under my tracking tab, I'm gonna click face to enable our face tracking. And now if I put my face in here and he detects it, it should trigger our animation. So let's try it out. All right, GD, take a look at me. Oh, here we go. So he detected my face and we can see he's transitioning right into those pink X's. He's gonna go through the entire sequence. This is our special code. So it's like he's winking at Andreas back there, sending his special, special color code. Animating JD's eyes is a great way to give him a little bit of personality. You can make your robot look sad, you can make your robot look happy, whatever you think is appropriate for your program. In this episode, we showed you how you can animate the RGB LED array of your Revolution JD. Because JD is a humanoid, we have what look like two different eyes on our robot. Each of these eyes is made up of nine different RGB LEDs. However, these are called RGB LEDs because we can control red, green, and blue within each single LED. This means we're actually controlling 54 different LEDs in our array. Unlike the primary colors used for physical mediums like paint, red, blue, and yellow, we're going to use the primary colors for light, red, green, and blue. This means we're mixing different values of red and different values of green and different values of blue to create new colors such as purple or yellow. To get started, load the bare project for your robot. We want to power on our fully charged robot and connect to the EZB V4 Wi-Fi signal. Under the project controls, add the RGB animator control. Click on the gear icon to access the configuration settings. We want to create a new action, which will be the entire sequence for our animation. Each animation is built up from a series of frames. Click add new frame to create the first new pattern. You can see that there are nine different squares representing each of JD's eyes. The pattern that you choose doesn't have to be symmetrical or the same. You can control each of the RGB LEDs individually. Click on one of the squares to select that RGB LED. You will notice a little symbol in the center. If you change your mind and you want to unselect it, just click again on the LED or you can click the unselect button to deselect all of the LEDs that are currently selected. Use the sliders at the bottom to mix your colors of red, green, and blue to get whatever color you want. So for instance, if we want a purple color, we're going to slide red and blue until we get our desired shade. We can use the pause and transition values to create a little bit of interest in our animation. The pause value indicates how long we'll stay on a particular frame. So if I want my rainbow grid pattern to stay on for five seconds, I have to change that value to 5,000 milliseconds. Clicking the transition checkbox means that we will have a slow fade in into our next frame. The transition value refers to how long it will take to enter that frame. So 
so how long it will take that particular color pattern to fade onto the array. We click the checkbox if we want a transition value, and if we don't want a transition value and we want to flash directly, we can either uncheck the checkbox or change the value all the way down to zero. If you want a slow transition, scroll until the value goes all the way up to something like 5,000 milliseconds or 5 seconds. The frame will slowly transition into the selected color pattern. You can choose to have your sequence repeat, so it'll go from the last frame all the way back to the first frame and keep going until you tell the animation to stop. Click Save to save your entire animation sequence. In the Animator Control Panel, you can click Execute to test your sequence. Watch in the terminal window until your robot is done executing the animation. You can also add your animation to other robot program activities. Animating JD's Eye Array is a great way to add a little bit of color to your robot. See if you can convey different emotions such as happiness or sadness, or maybe just add a little bit of extra flair for your robot creations. What does RGB mean and how does it relate to light? What is a frame? What does the transition value represent? Find the answers at therobotprogram.com.